good. Good up. Good morning. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dwayne Parrish, Director of South Carolina Parks, Recreation and Tourism. And I am proud to be here today to represent the, the tourism industry, but to mostly to thank our successful program with the South Carolina Chef Ambassadors. This is our fifth year of this program, and today we're going to congratulate our first all-female class from 2018. And we're going to introduce and announce to you the 2019 class. The Chef Ambassador Program was created five years ago in an effort to promote South Carolina as a culinary destination by highlighting chefs who use locally grown and harvested items on their menus and who offer distinctive flavors and taste. And I want to point out one chef we have who actually helped us start this program and formulate the idea back five years ago, and that's Brandon Valley from Juniper's Restaurant in Ridge Spring. Thank you, Brandon, for all you've done. Each year, Chefs are selected from a variety of destinations around the state and for their talents and skills. They serve a full year representing South Carolina as a culinary, as a, at culinary events and at targeted media missions around the state, raising awareness and visibility about South Carolina as a destination with wonderful dining experiences. As we recognize the outgoing class and welcome the new Chef Ambassador class for the upcoming year, we're excited to have with us someone today whose leadership and support provides the essential ingredient <laughs> for South Carolina's overall growth and success. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Governor Henry thank McMaster. Y'all, thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Uh, happy to be here. Y'all, some of y'all may have met my wife, Peggy. Peggy has, has taught me about food. When we first got married, uh -oh. moved <laughs> into our house. I came home from the office. Can I tell this story? <laughs> she worked all day cooking beef stroganoff and all sorts of stuff, and it was magnificent, laid out. And somewhere along the line, and she could tell by my face that I really had not expected all that. And, and finally, I had to fess up that a good old hot dog and beans would be just fine <laughs> for me. But I've learned. I've learned. <laughs> There are people who travel all over the world just to be in a nice place, a place with a lot of history, a people where, where people are friendly and where they have great food. And it, ta it takes a lot to do really good cooking. And people will travel to this state for that. And because of our history, because of the, the French influence, the African influence, the English, the Scottish, all these influences, now, over the years, it, it really makes for a, a great crucible, a great place for, for people to, to visit. And it's, it's one more thing that makes us different, I think, from, from the rest, rest of the country. And I need to tell you, when, uh, as, as governor and, and some as lieutenant governor, Pamela, I would meet with people from around the world that were looking to come to South Carolina to invest, and also people who had, had traveled and had liked what they seen, and they, they always mention the people of South Carolina as being different from any, in any other part of the country, any other part of the world. It's something we can really be proud of. And this, this tradition, this culinary arts, this, this expertise is something as well that we can be very proud of, and we are, and we need to keep it strong, Hugh, and keep it uh, growing and going, and understand the, the value of, of what we grow locally and produce locally. So we've got a great strong team and we look forward to, to making it even stronger because as, as you all know, South Carolina's all the way up. There's no stopping us. We could change a few laws and change a few things and we go unleash the energy of, and talent of all our people. So I'm happy to be here uh, speaking for five million happy South Carolinians. Glad to be here to promote this. Thank, Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Thank you, Governor. From a tourism perspective, the Chef Ambassador Program has provided tremendous opportunities for us to elevate the culinary profile of South Carolina. As this program has evolved, we have continued to explore and pursue new ways to showcase South Carolina's culinary talent. In 2018, all four female chefs appeared in South Carolina's top culinary festivals, including the Charleston Wine and Food Festival and Euphoria in Greenville, a culinary and musical festival. They were also featured. The t they also were featured in Atlanta Food and Wine Festival, 
in the spring and presented, and presented at one of the festival's learning, uh, learning classes, which included recipe demonstration. The slate of women were included in Rachel Ray's magazine, a spring issue titled Hashtag Like a Boss. And one of them, Kiki Cyrus, Kiki, where are you? There you are, hey, Kiki, was also on, served on Facebook Live panel discussion with Rachel Ray. They topped off the year with an exclusive VIP dinner in New York with some of the, with some of the nation's top culinary, um, culinary media as well as travel media. These appearances helped generate great media coverage and social media chatter for the Chef Ambassador program. We're certainly proud of their great success for this program continues to experience a success driven by the individual flavor of each Chef Ambassador and what they bring to the table. The travel and tourism aspect of this program is only just a part of it. The other part is agriculture, and here to further define the benefits of that are Commissioner Hugh Weathers of the Department of Agriculture. Thank you and good morning. Dwayne is right and the governor is right. This has been a great partnership for five years now, and I too want to thank Brandon Veely for helping us uh, initiate this idea. You know, it. We're going to recognize the talents of our chefs today uh, who served us in 2018 and, and those who will in 2019. But in my role, I get to see the talents of our farmers across South Carolina. And any of these chefs will tell you a great menu, an entree, starts with great ingredients. And the closer and fresher they are, the better. So that is the purpose of what we do in the Department of Agriculture to link our South Carolina farmers with our South Carolina consumers in every venue that we can using the talents uh, that we recognize in the Chef Ambassador program. We get to travel across the state and just see the backgrounds that our chefs uh, come from and their perspective and the, the variety that we have is just very intriguing again but all starting with great ingredients uh, recognizing the passion that they have to produce it but also the passion that our farmers have to grow it. Uh, we are now in our 11th year of Certified SC Grown, a program that 80% of South Carolinians recognize, and when they act on it and spend those food dollars, and those dollars stay in the state, it only helps South Carolina's economy for our farmers, our rural counties, and otherwise. Subsequent to that, our Fresh on the Menu program helps them identify the restaurants uh, like those that our chef ambassadors uh, represent uh, who are also partnering with our South Carolina farmers using at least 25% of the menu items coming from South Carolina when our crops uh, are in season. So all of these things are designed to do one thing, use the talents that we have, use the hospitality of South Carolina, uh, use the, the aggressive marketing efforts to bring people to our state. Seems like a lot of them don't go home, Governor. They, uh, <laughs> When we first started doing this, you might have represented four million South Carolinians. Now it's five and growing. But we're, we're, we'll take them all, we'll feed them well, uh, and they, uh, in turn, can help support South Carolina farmers. So it's a real privilege to stand before you and have a collaboration between the governor's office, PRT, and the Department of Agriculture. That's one of the things that I think Dwayne and I take a lot of a pride in as well. We've got an aggressive year for them planned. We talked about it last night. Uh, we don't tell them what they signed up for until they signed up. So uh, <laughs> that's just a little uh, trick that we have. And, uh, but been very successful this year. It's a real treat to have five chefs to recognize our fifth year. So uh, just uh, want to be very cognizant of working for our South Carolina farmers, working for the, the, the cuisine industry in South Carolina, pulling it all together, really to promote what a great state that uh, Governor McMaster and Lieutenant Governor Everett are leading for. So thank you for being here. Thank you, Hugh. Um, as I like to say, you know, we, we, my team and I, we try to bring them here. Hugh and his team feeds them. That's really what it's about at the end of the day. So um, th we'd also like, now like to acknowledge the outgoing class of 2018 and present official chef coach to the incoming class of 2019. I'd like to call on Dolly Tuning, our director of sales and marketing for, for Parks, Recreation, and Tour Tourism, and Beverly Shelley to the front to help with this announcement. All yours. <laughs> Hi everyone. We we like to say that it, they're they are our outgoing chefs. However, once a chef ambassador, you're always a chef ambassador. So it's like a vortex program, really. We, we never let you go. So we appreciate them always staying involved. 
Um, and so last year, to name the last year's chefs from 2018, um, Heidi Vukoff with two croissants bistro locations and the newest restaurant Hook and Barrel in Myrtle Beach. She is unable to join us today, but we appreciate her help with this program. Kiki Cyrus. <laughs> Kiki's Chicken and Waffles from Columbia. Michelle Weaver from Charleston Grill Charleston in Charleston area. She is also unable to be here today. And Sarah McClure with Southside Smokehouse in Landrum. And now for this year's class, the first chef I'm going to introduce is Chef Brandon Carter from Farm Restaurant in Bluffton, South Carolina. Sure. Born in Ohio and raised in Georgia, Brandon was inspired by the allure of the kitchen during a family trip to Italy at the age of 13. Compelled by the industry's high energy, he took his talents to the Culinary Institute of America, where he graduated in 1999. As executive, as executive chef and partner of Farm, Brandon works tirelessly to connect the dining experience with authentic farm culture. Always cognizant of seasonality and availability of ingredients, he crafts ever-evolving menus that speak to the bounty of the region while paying homage to the many farmers and artisans who inspire him. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> The second chef I'll introduce is Chef Mark Collins, circa 1886 in Charleston, South Carolina. At age 16, Mark worked as a chef apprentice aboard the yacht Paradise II, an experience that inspired him to pursue a culinary degree at the Pennsylvania Institute of Culinary Arts. At 23, he took his first chef position at the Fairmont Hotel, a AAA Four Diamond restaurant. In June of 2001, Mark moved to Charleston and became executive chef of Circa 1886. As the son of an artist, he learned the importance of constantly staying creative at a very young age, which serves him well in the culinary field, where he continually strives for originality in both food presentation and recipe development. Thank you. The next chef is Chef Tanya Harris, the Lazy Goat, Greenville. <laughs> Tanya Sinfuegos Harris attended culinary school in Mexico City, where she studied culinary arts in the Colegio Superior de Gastronomio. <laughs> Did I do that okay, Tanya? <laughs> For four years to earn her culinary bachelor's degree, it was after graduating that Tanya discovered her love of pastries, cakes, and bread, and working with chocolate and sugar especially. She is now in Greenville working as the pastry chef at the Lazy Goat. Being in South Carolina has helped Tanya gain a wider understanding of how important local farmers, farmers and local produce are when it comes to impacting the community and the culinary scene in Greenville. Thanks, Tanya. The fourth chef I'll introduce is Chef Jessica Shilato from the Spotted Salamander here in Columbia. <laughs> Jessica took an interest in cooking at an early age. Food, food, cooking, and sharing meals were always a big part of her life growing up. Being surrounded by a family of wonderful cooks inspired her to become a professional chef. Jessica is classically trained in the culinary arts holding two degrees from Johnson & Wales University Charleston campus. In 2014, she opened Spotted Salamander Cafe in the Robert Mills Historic District of Columbia, where she committed to making fresh local Southern cuisine with an inventive twist. And you have to try the deviled eggs at Spotted <laughs> Salamander. Thanks, Jessica.
Our final chef is Chef Kelly Vogelheim from Town Hall in Florence. Originally from Rogers City, Michigan, Kelly now resides in Florence as the execu executive chef of Town Hall Restaurant and Bar. Her passion for food began early, cooking with her mother and grandmother in the kitchen at home. Kelly earned her associate's degree in the culinary arts at the Great Lakes Culinary Institute in Traverse City, Michigan, and continued to grow in her career from there. After moving to South Carolina, she landed her position in Florence, which she is proud to now call home. excited about our new class. We appreciate you already being involved and we've got some great things planned for you this year. Thank you, Dolly. Um, what a class. We've just been such a, uh, uh, such a fun thing for us. I can't tell you what it is to highlight um, food. It is a top reason now people travel. You know, I grew up with my parents, we didn't pick a place to go because of where there were good places to eat, but today that's not the case. And South Carolina fits that bill. We have so many wonderful, even within our state, the changes in culinary destinations around here are just tremendous and a wonderful offering for the traveling public. So I want to say again, thank you. And if you'll join me in a round of applause for our 2018 class. I was proud to be associated with this class and the wonderful things they did to represent our state, and I look forward to 2019 with our wonderful class. And thank you all for joining us today. Thank you, Governor.